Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be showing you that how basically you can integrate the typewriter animation inside your Angular 14 application, something like this, let me just show you. So on the right hand side you will see basically, we have a bunch of text out there and you can see that basically it is automatically writing this automatically, this is called as typewriter effect, this is basically animating the text here and I will be showing you how to do this inside your angular 14 application so we are using basically a dependency called as uh, typed.js if you just search for this basically this is this their official website it's a javascript library vanilla javascript library but I will be showing you how we can integrate using angular 14 we how we can use it inside your angular 14 application so there is basically a package that we are using for this library guys which is called as ngx typed js so if you just go to here just search for this library ngx typed js so this is basically the library that we are using here so you can see that this is basically the library i have given all the source code in the description of the video so I have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website here so here you can get all the source code here so you can just follow along here so the very first thing you need to do guys basically you need to go inside your application and let me just delete all this and start from scratch so just go to your app.module.ts file and here you just need to import this module here so right inside you will write here ngx type js module and this will be coming from ngx type js so just import it inside the import array just add this and now you just need to go to app.component.html file here and here you just need to define some text here that we will be writing here so here we will be having this directive here which is ngx typed js directive so just close it and inside this basically it takes some options so the very first option it takes is the number of strings that you will write here so number of strings here so this will be a array of values inside square brackets so the first value you write here like this so if you just refresh your application now and you just need to basically give this class here so wherever you want to type you I will be typing inside this element I need to give it a class of typing so if you just give it a class of typing guys you will see on the right hand side it will only type it for the very first time if I provide some more values here let's suppose two values so first of all it will type first and then you can see you can have as, as many values as you want here guys you can have also multi line strings as well you can see that you can have as many strings as you want just separated using a single quote here and now if you want to loop it there is a option here loop and this is basically a boolean parameter so if you set it to true here the animation will not stop and it will be running it for forever you will see that it will not stop here this animation will not stop in the ser serial wise manner first it will print out Kane then Trent then Devon Conway you will see that then Ross Conway you will see that if you if I make it as false here then this only will print it four times and then it will stop and there is also a option which is if you check the documentation I have written a complete blog post here and then basically we have uh, the option where we can also control the speed as well so if you want to control the speed of the typing we can also control by this option type speed and here you can provide numeric value if I provide 100 here 
you will see how slowly it will write here you will see that so higher is this value the slower it will write you will see after one second it will write here you will see that you can basically customize you can control the animation here whichever animation you can control here so you can see that if I make it here 50 this value is in millisecond so 50 millisecond is very la uh, large if I put here 10 it will write very fast here you will see that if I put here 0 you will see that if I put here 5 so you can customize this and basically there is also an option to shuffle the string so we will have the option of shuffling the so we have this order which is k and trend so you can basically customize this order so from anywhere the text will be written so we have successfully shuffled the string so this is basically the first dependency guys the link is given in the description of the video you can get all the source code the second dependency for the same project i have written another blog post let me show you here this dependency it's a little bit advanced dependency which allows you to basically also control the coloring as well this is basically t dash writer.js if you again go to npm js this is basically the library which controls if i search for this library this is t writer js library if i just t writer So this, this is basically the library guys and uh, it has got 412 weekly downloads and it also very it's a customizable library and with this basically let me show you the demo here of this also. This is basically the demo of this library guys here you can even change the color of the text as well. So if you want to change the color of the text you can even change the color of the text as well. The thing is very simple basically you provide the target wherever you want to write the animation so here you provide the looping as well so this animation will not stop you can even loop it here and here you can change the color as well let's suppose I change this to green here this will change it to green you will see that you can pick any color you can change the text here whichever text you want to write. If you refresh you will see that the text will be changed here and then we have basically the time it will pause after the next animation if you provide 100 here you will see it will write very fast here you can control the speed you can control the color you can also control the text here so all the properties you can target this is especially a better library t writer js all the source code is given and basically the start method will start the writing process here so this is basically the two libraries guys which allows you to type implement the typewriter effect and uh, inside uh, animation inside angular 14 thank you very much for watching this video